So I just finished two Star Wars things. I watched Ahsoka, and I went to Galaxy's Edge. And I'm black on the moon! Well, all right. Whoa, that's right. I'm going to talk about Galaxy's Edge. I don't know what you're going to talk about. <laughs> Black Galaxy's Edge. But I don't think that's it, a place. Disney is very segregated now. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Different water fountains and all. They're bringing back the 20s. Oh, my. Yeah. I don't know that they're doing that. I don't know. Did you see a lot of black people at Disney? Uh, Sure. Did you, though? I did. Mm. Plenty. It's a very inclusive, welcoming place. It is. Except Absolutely. for the the use. <laughs> uh -huh. That's Kanye West's new company, by the way. I don't think that's a real thing. Shit, that's not real. How did you, how did you fall for I that? I thought all of Ryan Long's videos are facts. Oh, okay. All right. You just love facts. Let's talk about Star Wars facts. Yes. So I went to Galaxy's Edge. Well, I don't know what that is. It's a, it's like, a, it's a theme park in Hollywood Studios in, in Disney, Florida. How big is it? Enormous. Is it the biggest park? Uh, I don't know if it's the biggest park, but it's like the biggest section of that particular park. And it's all like completely, <laughs> you walk through like a tunnel underpass and then it just opens up into Star Wars world. And it's pretty... It's pretty glorious. And you can't see the failed hotel anywhere. No, because the failed hotel it has to be connected somewhere. It's there not close. connected. You have to take like a little like a bus, like a shuttle to and from. It's not in the park. The and it's blacked out. Not it's in, in the park. It's not in. What do you mean in the park? Like I thought it would be in the Star Wars. No, it's not. In the Star, it's it's kind of like um, it's outside of there. And you have to take a shuttle. That's weird. And the shuttle's like blacked out so that you don't, you're like you're taking a shuttlecraft down to the whatever, the Jakku or whatever the name of the place is. I, I don't oh. remember. Galaxy's Edge. But it, it's weird too because uh, Star Tours, do you remember that from yeah. like when you were a little kid? Uh -huh. That is in a different section. So it's not in Star Wars land. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. And then like there's also places where you can meet like BB-8 and Darth Vader and Chewbacca. Do Not they, in Galaxy's Edge. Do they have an actual battle? <clears throat> what do you mean? Like, do they have a lightsaber battle? Who? I don't know. People in the the actors. Uh, they just run around battling lightsabers. No, and just join in. it's very peaceful there. There is a part where uh, what's his name, Kylo Ren. He walks around with stormtroopers and harasses people. Oh wait, did you get the blue milk? Do they have blue milk? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know because I didn't really eat in that section of the park. Why wouldn't you get Star Wars food? Because it was like all weird and it, it was like a whole thing. That's It was called so weird stuff. I, I did do Star Wars thing. I went to the bar. Okay. The exclusive bar. They have a Star that's Wars That's all that mattered. Was going, yeah, there was a cantina. Okay. Which is really cool. And they didn't have blue milk there? No, they had a Wait, bunch of other Wait, blue milk drink. is a Star Wars thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was a blue titty milk. Or was it green titty? No, that was uh, Last Jedi was green titty milk, right? Was it? Yes. Luke Skywalker drinking the, the titty milk? I don't remember either of them. Now I'm starting to think of the three titty girl from Total Recall. <laughs> you're, you're pretty good at this. Is it the... They're different people, right? You know what drink I did get? I did bring back one souvenir. This... A plastic Coke bottle that probably cost it's $30. It's a thermal detonator. Probably cost thirty dollars. It didn't cost that much, but it did cost more than your average drink. It was actually only like a dollar more than what they sell drinks at really? the at the park. Yeah. Oh, they, at the park. Yeah, so it's they park sell prices. Park. It's drinks. like six dollars. Uh oh. Okay. It's right. not the worst thing in the world. Uh, no. Soda itself costs five dollars, and water is three seventy five currently. <laughs> Rip at today's off. inflation prices. <clears throat> so. Yeah, when you walk in though, uh, so Star Tours was cool, but in a totally different section. They still have the ad at, and like you can do that whole thing. Apparently, at Star Tours, there's multiple different rides you could take because I did it twice, and I got two different rides. The first ride I got was like the the new trilogy stuff. Yeah, and it, I didn't I didn't like it that much. 
I I like it. Finn tried to touch me. I, I didn't like what it. Was it a ride? You just sit there and you just watch. You're stuff? like in the thing and it like jerks around and it's like. Rah, 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 rah. You don't. You didn't. You do Star Tours as a small child. Uh, I think so. Yeah, like C three PO pilots the thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know what it is. All right. So then then I got a a second one that was pod racing and then we did an attack on the uh second Death Star I think. There's that one was one better. Death Star. No, there's two Death Stars, dummy. No, isn't it called something different in the new trilogy? Why <sighs> you're so stupid. Wait, there's two in the old trilogy? Yes. What? In the first Star in Star Wars: A New Hope, there's the that's the first Death Star. Is that the and one then the up? emperor go in in return of the that one blows up and then the the uh, the emperor goes the my fully functional star death star what what is battle station whatever he calls it but it's just, remember it's like not completed it's like the oh okay yeah, <clears> yeah, yeah, yeah <clears> that's okay. supposed to be a death star just not completed yet I did not so pay attention two to these of them. movies you don't pay attention to any movies unless there was pew pews and there zoom are zooms. pew pews and zoom zooms just no boom booms oh. Well. So, uh, so you, you walk through this like tunnel thing, right? And then it opens up into Star Wars land. Sure. Right. And there's like X wings and a wings, like life size models of them. All the vendors have droids. Uh, and the first ride you can go on is, is rise of the resistance, which is cool. It has a really cool experience in it. Um, I definitely recommend doing like, I could have just spent all day. In the Star Wars land. And I mostly did. That's all I really cared about was Star Wars. You didn't care about... Uh, Tower of Terror? Not even not a little Tower bit. Not Tower of Terror. What is the, Aerosmith, the one... Aerosmith, Rock and Roller Roller Coaster? That's a thing? Didn't care about that either. Was there a giant racetrack one? That, that was the last thing I went there where you could like design what? your own car and then you race it or something? Nope. That's in uh, Epcot. Oh, so it's still there. Yeah. You just didn't do it. In Epcot? This is, a t this is Hollywood Studios. It's a totally different park. But it's all connected. No, to they're not. Epcot is part of Disney World. You have to take like buses and monorails to get to the different parks and they have different entrances. I, I know that. Like Epcot is not the Magic Kingdom, is not Animal Kingdom, is not Hollywood Studios. They're all in different places. I, I'm aware, but you can go to them all during a singular trip. D yeah, but you couldn't do them in the same day. Like no. you can't, you have to make reservations anyway. You can't go to different parks in the same but day. But did you go to Epcot and then Yes, I went to Guardians of the Galaxy. The greatest Chinese food ever. I did get duck, uh, a duck bon mi. That sounds good. It was good. We're talking Star Wars. If you want to ask about the rest of the thing, <laughs> we'll do a different video about it. If you really want to know what no, I did. I, listen, I just wanted, super to, I wanted to make a China reference. That's all I wanted. Could you, did you see a lot of China in there? Oh, well, I, I did, we never did anything with that video, did we? I forget if we did or we didn't. Do you remember I sent you that video? Yeah, I, I remember that. I about think. me going to China and yes. what they told me to tell you. Oh, yeah, you, you thought it was too racist. No, you thought it was too no, racist. Star Wars thought it was too racist. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, so, so, uh, which one is it? This, like, Rise of the Resistance is pretty cool. Some cool stuff there. Looks this like is some spoilers. Movie. It's a totally you go dancing. Is it really? They just start dancing? Absolutely. Uh huh. God, that sounds so gay. <laughs> but you love every second of it. I don't want to, I don't want to. But there's lightsabers. I like it. There are lightsabers at some point. Apparently, there's different versions of that ride, too, but I only went on that once. But that one's like all new stuff, so I I, I many, like it, but I don't like how it. How many rides are in the Star Wars park? Two, if you don't include Star Tours. T just two. Correct. That's not a lot. Yeah, well, there's also Star Tours, but that's not inside that park. Very weird. Yeah, there's also the Smuggler's Run, which is you get to pilot the Millennium Falcon, which is awesome. That was that was super I cool. Mean, yeah, that sounds kind of cool. You literally walk on. You walk on to the Ameri or the American to on the to American Falcon. <laughs> you walk on to the Amer it's American Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, you go on to the uh, the the Falcon. Yeah, you know, like the little thing where you can play chess and stuff. Sure, it's that's all there. The whole thing, and then Harrison you walk into the there. He he's dead now. So no, is he dead? He's not dead. Oh, in the movies, he's dead. Yes, he is dead. I forgot because his, yes. his son stabbed him in the in the 
chest. Spoiler alert for a movie that happened several it's, years ago. Yes, many years ago. Many moons ago. So, uh, yeah, you go into the... And then it's like a big, giant video game that you play with six people. I mean, that's, that's what the cool. ride is. So the first two people uh, are the pilots. You're con- if you're on the left hand side, I think you're responsible for left and right. And then the right hand side is the hyperdrive and up and down. The two people behind you are guns. And then the other two behind you are engineers. So they like fix when you like bang into things or get shot. So, so it's a team effort. It's a team effort. Oh my God. And it's, pr- it's pr- very cool. Very cool. Lots of fun. I went on that. And you waited four hours just to get on. Nah, I used lighting passes and stuff. And actually, at the end of the night, there was no wait. You could get, you go on it over and over again if you wanted to. But I did unlock the super secret Chewbacca mode. <laughs> Where you turn into Chewbacca? He <laughs> becomes your co-pilot. Get to the lightsabers. Oh, yes. I did. I did not build a lightsaber, but I did get to experience building a lightsaber. They gave me that super secret special pass where I got to watch uh, people. But you have to get a pass to watch? You cannot go in unless you're building a lightsaber. But really? if you can get a pass to go in and watch them build it. Because I ain't got that kind of bread. And they didn't give me any free lightsabers. They weren't handing out free lightsabers. Didn't they have different levels of fancy lightsabers? No, there's just it's, it's just, just like for the, the one, one experience. Fancy one. Yes. Yep. And then what you do is you get to pick from like four sets of lightsabers. Like it's like strength and control and peace and unity and buttercups and flowers and then like a Viking type thing. I don't know. And then when you get when you pick what your set is, then you can customize it even further from there where you get to they literally let you pick out a crystal like the Kyber crystal. And there's some like actors being like, oh, this is the great like, blah, blah, blah. The, the actors were fine, but it was a little cheesy. They'll Strong talk to you whammy. while you're building it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like a whole it's like you go in with 20 other people and it's like a uh, it's like a ritual almost. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. It's like a cult. Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird because you're all like in a circle and you're all like assembling your lightsabers at the same time. So you get to pick out your kyber crystal, which is like what color it's going to be. How many different colors can you choose from? You tell me. Can you do a rainbow one? No, <laughs> You cannot do a fruity rainbow. Damn. One. You're hard pass now, dog. Man, I, I want a rainbow. There's no pride lightsaber. Rainbow saber. <laughs> the, what colors of a lightsaber are there? Tell me you, you must know this. Uh, At least a hard. Isn't, isn't there endless fucking colors? No, there? there's only like five or six colors. They did add a new one, but that's not in there now. Mean, there's, there's blue, there's green, there's yes. red. Uh-huh. Uh, there's purple. Yes. Uh, yellow. Uh-huh. Black. Nope. There's definitely a black one. No, that's the dark saber, and that, that that's not in there. Mm. And there's also orange now from Ahsoka. Oh, Ahsoka's orange. But they didn't. Yeah. Well, hers is an orange, but Balin Scone or Scone or whatever. Oh, is that Ray Stevenson? Yeah, Ray Stevenson's is orange. I would have. I would have probably paid for it if I could have got Ray Stevenson's lightsaber. You can choose orange. I'm assuming you right? cannot. No, they only have like the new. And and I found a flaw in their thing because, um, this all. I guess this all takes place like before. <clears throat> like Kylo Ren is still alive and so is General Hux so it all takes place before Rise of Skywalker right yeah and they're talking about getting Rey's lightsaber Rey has not made her yellow lightsaber yet she makes it at the end of Rise of Skywalker does she actually I mean she doesn't make it you just see her with it Wh- who else made it I don't know how you get lightsabers BB-8? you make them maybe somebody sent it to her in the mail <laughs> so, so, so we Amazon Prime yeah. to her <laughs> Yeah, drone that's not, drop. They're doing that now. Yeah, uh huh. So yeah, they, so then you pick your 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 kyber crystal and then you insert it inside of the the hilt is it and tight? then you assemble like it's like this this yeah, this big. Then you assemble like you get to pick like your the top part, the middle part, and the bottom part, and you get to select from like three pieces each. So then you start assembling it right, and then you stick it in this like I I don't like this tube thing, right. And then they're like, oh, we call upon the great spirits of lightsaberdom. And then they make the lights go crazy. And then you pull out and you ignite your, your lightsaber. And then everyone does like a weird chant together. And I, don't, I don't, didn't, didn't know what they were saying. And they're like, please send us the monies now. Oh, you have to have that money beho- ahead of oh, time. Oh, you pay for it ahead of oh, time? Oh, you better believe it. You ain't walking in there without a pass. Oh, my God. Because it's, like it's in like a separate building. Like you wouldn't even know it's there. If you don't know where it is, it's hard to find. 
Like everything's hard. It was weird. Like even when you walk past the cantina, you could see it says like cantina, but it's like written in weird, like Star Wars language. And then when you walk by, there's like uh, guards at the door. And then when somebody like leaves or goes in, like music just like blasts out of it. But you can't go in without a reservation. That's weird. And then you could build droids too, which I thought was pretty cool. That was that was pretty interesting. There's like a droid factory. That was humming. That, that was the busiest place in the in the entire thing. People just making droids, which I, they're like remote control droids. You can like race them around and stuff. It's interesting because all the shops too are kind of themed. So there's like a uh, there's like a droid shop. There's a star trooper. No, a stormtrooper shop. There's a porg shop that had a loath cat in it. That's a lot. Do you know what a loath cat is? I don't. No. Is it a loaf that's a cat? No, but it's like a little animatronic cat that's like laying in a box and it purrs at you. Oh, yeah, it's kind of cute. That is kind of cute. Uh, yeah, there's like a, there's like a whole marketplace of like weird other stuff, and then there's like this one room, this one shop that's like a it's almost like a Jedi Seth lore center where you can buy like Jedi holocrons, and there's like a Wampa up in the like there's all these like trophies, like you know the weird uh, the weird cat thing from Attack of the Clones. When they were being attacked by those three things, you know, when Obi Wan is chained up and uh, oh, it slashes okay, yeah. Padma's yeah, shirt and yeah, she yeah, loses yeah. half of her shirt, that thing's head is belly. on the wall. Oh yeah, God. I get to see that that tummy. Yeah, your favorite part. Yeah, they had one of those on the wall, and they had like a Tauntaun's head on the wall, and like all sorts of weird stuff. And you could buy like crazy, crazy, like just blow tons and tons of money there. Um. That was pretty cool. Got to see Mando walking around with Baby Yoda. That was cool. It was actually Pedro Pascal. Yeah, because oh he doesn't God. have a job anymore. So he was just walking Did around. Did he get fired? I mean, yeah. No, they're just on strike still. Yeah, so because he's on strike, he's got to earn a couple pennies. So he's walking around as Mando. So you can, yeah, you can, you could go up and meet him, Chewbacca, and he'll like engage you. Like you don't, you don't go near him. He comes near you. There was it was funny because Ray was there too, and no one talked to Ray. No Ooh. one cared. Was she hotter than actual Ray? Yes, yeah, she was. Was she really? Yes, Good she was. Her. But she's also like a normal looking girl, so people probably didn't know it was Ray. You know what I mean? Yeah, her clothes are unassuming. Yeah, so they were just like, "Who's that random girl walking around who's like slightly better looking than Ray?" Because <laughs> she actually had makeup on. The other Ray doesn't seem to actually have makeup on. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to think what else was fun there. Thermal detonators were fun. Not the blue milk because you didn't get it. I didn't get the blue milk. I, I, I didn't think about it. I was too overwhelmed because it's very immersive. Oh, and I went to the, I told you, I went to the bar. There's a robot DJ in the bar. And apparently if you get a certain drink, they make fun of you. It's like taunt. Maybe that's why I didn't get it. It was like a tauntaun milk thing. And I was like, they, they'll make fun of you if you get it. So I didn't get that. Why would they make fun else. of you? I something about you being a flaming whatever. I don't know. Um, they, they call you a homosexual <laughs> in, Star, in Star Wars Disney. I don't know. They say they say it's disgusting and you shouldn't drink it or something. I don't know. I didn't do it. I was too nervous. I, I couldn't do done it. it. You would not have. You would have bought fourteen out. lightsabers. Uh huh. You would have been broke. Yeah. You'd be homeless. You'd no. be a hobo. Yeah, but it was a lot. It was a lot of I I if you're and here's I guess the point I wanted to make is I, as you can tell in many of my reviews, I am not a big fan of Disney Star Wars. Like Ahsoka sucked. Obi Wan is one of the most terrible things I've ever seen. Like it's bad just television. Period. And uh, but if you're a Star Wars fan on any level, this place it was pretty amazing. Like it it fully emerged. There is an, a full life size Millennium Falcon. For you to like walk around, no, yeah, like it's just it's crazy. It's it's very very cool. I so our, it. our next road trip when we get monetized enough, keep sending us money. We're gonna we need go, some memberships and we need some super chats. We're going back. Look, there's Chewbacca right there with and that then purple our top haired tier lady. Membership will pay for the trip to uh, the Millennial Falcon, and then you can come with us. But you oh, also it's have called Bot Two. Oh, you, you can come with us yourself. Yeah, yeah, not going to the Tower of Terror. That's no. That's Why would you not go on the Tower of Terror? D- Duke, wait, the wait time was too long, oh, and I wanted it? to spend more time in Galaxy's Edge. I guess there's like words you're supposed to say there. May the spires keep you. What? 
Food and beverage. Yeah, I went to Oga's Cantina. And they kept talking about Oga and then didn't tell me who Oga was. Why wasn't Jabba the Hutt there with some slaves? Is he's dead. Fuck. Don't don't you don't you don't remember that? Why is everyone cool dead? What? Is that the blue milk? No. Uh maybe it is. I don't know. That maybe during blue, the day. Right? That looks like the uh it looks desserty. One drink per person drink minimum and a two drink maximum. What? Kind of weird. They You're limited you to 45 minutes. I did not know any of those things. I didn't. I didn't really pay that attention looks like to that. A really not great meal. Though. Well, that's what I get. Yeah. You're like, oh, where'd you get the food? Do you that, really want to eat look a like cookie? It's themed in any way? Like, what's special about it? It's that? called, uh, you know, Maz Kanata's cookie tugs. I don't know, man. Um, I don't. I don't know. I right, look at that. Does that look exotic that to you? That does look appetizing. <laughs> there is a milk stand. I did not see the milk stand. I God can't believe I missed that. Bubo Wamba's or Family Farms. Milk. Yeah, blue or green milk. He could have got it. I did not realize that. There are alcoholic versions too. I did not know that. I to I was too I th there's so much going on there. It's hard to keep track of it. Cuz there's just so much. Oh, here's the lightsaber thing. See, I That's like everyone. Cool. I would have done purple. Because you want to be just like uh, Sam Jack, yeah. Because she tells you when she's going through it, like whose lightsabers are what color. She's like the lightsabers of blah 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 blah. You just straight up choose your color, right? It just yeah, like you choose your color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. There's the droid. There. There's a droid depot. First order cargo. Oh, building a droid costs one hundred and twenty dollars. I mean, that's not that bad. Oh, look, we can call it in right now. Our reservation. Oh, call, oh, okay. <laughs> Can we call them right now? We'll reserve another droid, uh, please, sir. I'd like to reserve one droid. Oh, look, there's the pork shop. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I did not read any. I should have read the tips. And uh, the, do you want me to tell you my bounty hunting story? Sure. There is. There was something pretty cool where, um, yeah, I, I did. I did this. The the bounty hunter game. So you need a magic band, which is like a. It's almost like a Mickey watch that like gets you into all the parks and your hotel room and everything like that well you could go up to this this like kiosk and you scan your thing and it goes would you like to acquire a bounty right and uh the closer you get to the bounty your your thing turns either green or red so it's kind of like hot or cold and you, and you walk around well when it turns purple you find it so i'm it's late at night and most of the people have left the park and i'm just kind of wandering around there uh basically alone there and uh I don't know what's going on because my my watch won't stop vibrating and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? This is driving me crazy. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm looking for a droid, and I get in the droid area and my I, I, I get the purple thing. I found the droid, and all of a sudden, the lights all change around me and the sa the sound design of the place is awesome because sometimes it sounds like there's like X wings flying overhead. Well, it sounded like somebody like landed a ship on top of me. It was really loud. And they're like, oh, we have captured the drawer that was missing or whatever. And then your your thing starts spinning like white or whatever. So I had to take it back to the kiosk. I take it back to the kiosk and they're like, go to the door next door to receive your credits. And I was like, oh, okay. So you go up to this door and you scan your watch again. You know, those like gangster doors where it's like a door and then you slide a thing and you could just see the guy's eyes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So like... This alien opens up this window and pulls it open. He's like, oh, here's your, it's an alien. He's like, here's your 650 credits, but you don't have enough money to join the bounty hunters guild. Take it and leave. So he, he stops it and then you can go and you can go get more bounties. And I don't know what happens at the end because it was too late and I didn't have time. And I had already had a drink and was, uh, it was unclear as to how long it was until they'd kick me out. Could have just kept drinking. No, Stayed it's overnight. a two drink minimum. It's Stayed a two drink maximum. Per so. hour. No, but then they they only let you drink two drinks per hour. But no, it's, what, <laughs> what? Get new reservations. Just buy a mustache and then just come over. <laughs> Go right back in. Hello. I would like another beverage, please. Yes. So I, I mean, my first beverage, please. So the only thing I came back with was this. Is a Coke bottle and lightsabers. I don't have lightsabers. I have a lightsaber. Okay. <laughs> oh, where are you hiding that? Where are you packing that thing? It's dimly lit. Oh, <laughs> it's very tiny. Dimly lit. Mm. So uh, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. If you want to hear more reviews like this or have us review uh, the rest of Disney, we nope. can do that too. No one's going to do that. You got questions. <laughs> you really want to know about Epcot, don't you? I do. Epcot. 
<laughs> you want to get that world of tomorrow. So anyway, catch that. It's on Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. You can come join us. Sh- super chat us. Join our memberships at some point. All that good stuff and more. But we will catch you on the next one because we are on to the next one.